The, uh, the variation, that variation I think is called the Joyo build, or the Joyo version of Two Fact. I think the yeah. Gundam is slightly different. There's, there's like, there's like so many variations and they're all <laughs> named after different players. It's like, I think that one is Joyo. Yeah. Um, anyway, game number three is going to be Tau Cross. That will be Mana's choice as the loser of game two. So let's see what happens here. Oh man, Tower Cross I think is going to be great for any kind of early aggression since there's no ramp into the main. And looks like Sarens will spawn at the top right as the Purple Terran, and Mana will spawn at the bottom right as the Blue Protoss. Oh man, really excited for this. I mean, I, so I like... I thought that was a pretty cool play in the last game from Sarens, but I gotta say I'm cheering for Mana. I mean, partly because he's on Team Liquid, but also because I I, I actually really want to see. Uh... Actually, wait a minute. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. I was gonna say I really wanted to see Mana versus Mondragon finals, but we already yeah, saw Monty be... lose. No! <laughs> oh my God! What the hell? How are the semifinals are gonna line up? Is it gonna be Cloud against the winner of this or? It's no, gonna it's going to be Cloud versus... Or sorry, uh, I think I think Mana's in the bottom. Hold on, let me just double check. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, well, Mana Sarens is in the bottom, which means the winner of this faces the winner of uh, Hey Pro and Eriador. Oh, okay. And then Cloud will face the winner of TT1 and Foskin. So, yeah, good stuff. So actually, so I think if Sarens loses, that'll mean the we don't have any like pure Terrans anymore. Although Hapro will pick TBZ hmm. if he gets that. <clears throat> so, interesting stuff. Anyway, pro guy going to the incorrect spawning, uh, incorrect spawning location. And oh, okay, there's a the depot. I thought I thought there was no depot for a second. So like what? <laughs> there's just, a, just hiding. Yeah, Sarens this time uh, deciding not to scout at least. Uh... Not really early. I think I think he got a got a quicker scout off at least in the last game. That is. Now it's going out. Yes, indeed. Now it's it's gonna be interesting to see what uh, opening Sirens does here because I don't think you can like I don't think you can do a siege expand because there's no ramp. It's kind of like there's you know nothing to, no cliff to really use to help defend. Uh, I think you would almost have to do an FD or a two fact if you wanted. Um, but again, it's sort of difficult to block off the scouting of a two-fact, because like, you can't wall in, and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what he does. Oh, looks like we're losing observers. Ruskick has been eliminated. Looks like Probe Guy going to get chased away, and Factory should... Okay, there it is. Slightly late, just a couple of seconds, not a big deal. And looks like first goon is on the way. So again, we're just gonna have to chill for a little bit until we see exactly what the players are planning. I'm, huh. I'm, I'm almost sad that we don't see a 10-15 gate, but I guess it would get, get scouted. Yeah, that's what Liquidpedia told me, PVT, about this map. <laughs> Do 10-15 gate, but yeah, ended up getting no PVT here. Oh no. Dude, is that is that like is that how you got your build orders for the tournament yesterday? You just went on Liquipedia. It's like, okay, which build is good for this map? <laughs> yeah, but, but it didn't say for all of them, so oh, kind of can add to improvise as well. Nice. There you go, guys. See, Liquipedia is the best. Hey, that's what I used to do too. It's like I don't know these maps. Liquipedia instruct me. Yeah, Terrence once again, and a couple more Marines. I mean, uh, on the one hand, with the may way the map is uh, designed. Really, you're ramping there, maybe just for safety. That bunker, though, is, huh? I'm not a fan of that bunker. I mean, he saw only one gateway. Like, I don't know why he felt he needed a bunker right now. I mean, it's the second gateway being cute. Yeah, but that's like so. Like, the second gateway is so late that that bunker is definitely not required. At least, def at least not that early. I mean. Yeah, there's no ramp, so you gotta play a little bit safe, but he got a complete scout off, so it seems a, a bit of a waste. I mean, I guess that just means he's gonna fast expand, though. Yeah, he's like, he's actually siege expanding, even though I said it wasn't a good idea. He's he's just making it safe by building a really early bunker at the natural. 
Yeah, I probably still remembers the first game, how that went with him trying to siege expand. <laughs> Although this game he's already got control of his natural, so I guess that's it. that's good. Yeah. Taking oh. ex extra precautions. One thing I just remembered also is the natural expansion is clippable on this map. So, could see some uh, Lost Temple-like tank, dro uh, tank drops. Yeah, so there's just a tiny spot there to drop. Oh. Yeah, there's like there's like a small platform by the natural. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can just drop stuff on there. It's pretty annoying. Of eBay going down before CC, that is. I mean, he saw the, the lack of an ex Nexus by his opponent. Uh, there was an SCV scout sneaking by. So, yeah, probably a bit worried about the T's maybe. Uh, yeah. I think that's a uh, pretty safe timing at least. <clears throat> Better safe than sorry. So, uh, yeah. It's quite funny actually in. Uh, in the tournament I casted like last weekend, or it was basically running for a couple of weeks before this one, uh, called the Brutor Open Heat. Like the the big favorite to win scan. Uh, actually, the only game he dropped in the group stage, I think, was to a DT drop. And he's a Terran player. It was just so funny to watch. Like when like I remember some people saw the results without seeing the games. They were like, wait, was that just like a walkover? Did he just not show up or something? Like how did that even happen? <laughs> it's like yeah, DT drop. Anyway, command center now on the way, as well as a nexus, as well as uh, a nice ring of goons here at the front. If I was him, I would actually send that probe at the front to do something else, because he's already got the goons there, but whatevs. So yeah, looking pretty safe so far, although he does have a shuttle on the way. That's interesting. Oh, he's got zealots! Yeah. Oh man, Are, is he, is yeah, he going to G5 him? Yeah, looking to bust this. He only brings two zealots though instead of four. G5 would disapprove. Oh no, he's making <laughs> two more. Yeah, uh, probably maybe messed up the build a bit. But uh, yeah, I, th I think he definitely wants to hit earlier rather than later with the four. I think that is a good point. But th the Parrix actually sees this early. Oh, is he gonna go? Yeah, Turret as well. Oh, unseaged. He's just like pretending there's a reaver here. Oh, and the goons Who's go in because the tank on siege, tank. the tank is gonna fall. There are four marines in the bunker, the two is zealots in the back the actually thing? distracting yeah. all of the siege tanks. The bunker is gonna fall straight away. The two zealots are gone though, and I think that means the goons will have to back up. Interesting idea. Oh yeah, man, he should stop. That's good. Uh... We got one tank. I think that was still okay, but should retreat now. Ah, the zealots drop actually. Helping here a lot. And this tank, yeah. Might go down even in two. The, wow. the next unit from Serence is still quite a bit away. I think the tank just started. So we go to the front and the two when it's out. Yeah, should be able to do quite some more damage. Oh yeah, god, the, the tank! tank. Repair! Down. The repair! Oh my god, that was absolutely huge. I had no idea he still had a zealot left in that shuttle. And oh, wow, two more zealots coming in here. Looks like Mana is going for the throat. He's going for the kill. A third factory desperately queued in production. Meemaw note that Mana is mining away happily from his natural. He's getting his fourth gateway. He is not compromising his economy at all for this attack, but he is still going hard into the main base. The natural is lifted. Saren is abandoned. He's, he's trying to protect himself with the SCVs. The tank is running away from Zelda, but it looks yeah, like it might get caught. Oh my god, and now two Zelts and three Dragoons in the main base, no units for Sarens. He's got two tanks almost finished, but look at this, some fancy shuttle micro to protect the Goons from the SEVs. Yeah, two were able to survive, and yeah, there's more running across the map. Sarens, yeah, he just, okay, two tanks now. Did he get the shuttle? No, the, the shuttle is still around up here. Yep, it's uh, it looks like it's just staying on the right side. And wow, more SCVs falling to these reinforcement dragoons. It looks like he might go in. Oh my god, the tanks need to go back. They need to go back a little bit. Oh, they need to like siege in the mineral line so they can't be picked off so easily. But oh my god, he might lose both of these tanks. He does. Is this shuttle still okay? No, the shuttle was emptied, but that means three more dragoons here. Is he gonna rescue them? Shuttle to the rescue. Get to the chopper. The chopper. Oh. But still, so much damage done here already. So I said to lift his, lift his natural, lost lots of SCVs, and yeah, he's got two units now. Yeah, 
It's uh, not looking good. Actually, funnily enough, okay, 43 supply against 63. I thought it would be worse, actually. Oh, God. Oh, God, the tanks again. Oh, God. Yeah, it's looking grim for Serence here. Oh! Oh, man, if he had saved that tank, yeah. that would have been so crucial, because he could have just started shooting from behind the SUVs. And now he's working well with the, the SUVs. I think uh, it was very, very close at the time the first push came from Maya. And had Serence just been a, been a bit quicker about pulling his SUVs, maybe at the first tank a bit more towards the back or so, I think I think he could have been able to hold this. Maybe even quite easily if he does everything perfectly, but uh, yeah, just maybe a bit too late on not bringing, bringing the SUVs in there or so. Yeah, it was, oh man, it's Protoss, Protoss too strong, Protoss OP. <laughs> Anyway, Sands is, is not giving up. He knows this is the deciding game. If he falls here, he's out of the tournament. He's trying hard to hold on. He's using SCVs to try and block. Oh no, but there's four more Zealots Another in the block. shuttle. Oh god. Although, it looks like they can't quite drop them yet because the goons aren't there to support. Getting zoned out by the SCVs. But I mean, we just look at look at Mana's base. I mean, he's even going to go just make a third here. He's got plenty of money. Oh, and there's a drop on the sea shank. And down it goes. And GG from Saren's mana with the ultra aggressive Protoss style taking it down. All right, so those are our round of eight matches. Mana will advance to the semifinals to face the winner of. Hey Pro versus Ariador. And uh, I hope, or I think we will find out who that is soon. I don't actually know how uh, how far those games have gone, whether the other streams are actually finished or not. I see Red Warrior here, so maybe they're done already. But uh, yes, the semifinals will now be casted live, uh, or the same, the rest of the tournament will be casted live, starting from the semifinals. So uh, yeah, just gonna wait a couple of minutes Hopefully not too long for everything to get organized because we do have several streaming teams as I said before um, and I'll wait for uh, I'll, I'll just ask our tennis what the status is Tennis are we ready to do the things? Thanks everyone for tuning in by the way got over 800 viewers. That is really awesome uh, and huge thanks to silky goose team liquid and various individual sponsors of this tournament I believe there is over 600 euros in the prize pool, which is super duper awesome. So thank you guys very much. And thank you, Zaki, for joining me on the stream. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Don't get to do this uh, too often. I think the last time I had the pleasure of casting Boot War was uh, Homestore Cup, actually. Ah. Stork against Jadong. Oh, did they do a show match or something? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, think I heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, looks like we're just waiting for the Polish stream to finish, guys. So hopefully that'll be uh, done in a second. Actually, I can just quickly go and have a look at their stream and see uh, see how it's going. All right. Terran TV. Let's see. Where are they in the game? Looks like, oh, they're actually casting the, uh, the same game I am. Or we just did. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I, I got completely thrown off because Raven, who's casting there, looks exactly like uh, somebody I know at work. It's like, it's like scarily similar. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Why is he there? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, anyway, it looks, like, uh, it looks like he just finished. So I believe that means we are ready to go. Oh, sorry, quick correction by the way, we're not actually doing the semifinals live. Uh, those will be replay casts as well because we just have way too many streams to actually uh, to actually all be in the same game. So I will quickly get these going. Alright. 
semi-finals. Okay, sweet. Give me one second, guys. All right, so our semifinal matches are going to be in the top half of the bracket, Cloud versus TT1 for a PvP, I believe. And in the bottom half of the bracket will be Hey Pro versus Mana for a ZVP. Three Protosses and a Zerg. Ooh, interesting. And this is this is such a change from uh, how the foreigner tournaments have been going recently in the foreign scene it nowadays. Is not right. Yeah, it's just completely dominated by Zerg. So I like this. I finally get to cast Pro. Oh my God, we, we are guaranteed at least one Protoss in the finals, either Cloud or TT1. So I am.